Coach, it seemed like defense had a pretty good day today. What did you see from your vantage point? Uh, I thought we were streaky. I thought both sides were streaky. I thought, uh, you know, I thought we practiced better yesterday overall, uh, both sides. Um, the biggest thing, we got to be consistent. We're a streaky team right now. We are able to put together uh, plays on either side of the ball in succession. Um, but, you know, we don't have that consistency we need to get. Uh, the other thing is I think we got to push through. we got to push through the weather and the work. Does that just come with reps, that consistency that you're talking about? Or what specifically would you like to see this team do in order to kind of achieve what you're looking for? Well, they just have to focus. They have to have the ability to focus when they're tired and play with good technique when they're tired, you know. Coach, I know Jameer Calvin's new here, but he's not new to the air raid. He seems really comfortable out there. What, what's your expectations of him, and what's your thoughts so far from him? Just, just keep improving. You know, he's a he's a real sudden guy. He's good at coming out of his cuts. He's uh, can stop and go uh, real fast. You know, just uh, yeah, be a consistent guy. And then, uh, and then also he gives us a little depth. He was here in the spring, but your thoughts on Makai Polk and what he's been able to do early on? Getting better. Yeah, getting better. Uh, I think that, uh, and he's improved uh, since spring. Uh, good at playing the ball in the air uh, and also uh, needs to push through, needs to be the same guy at the end of the work as he is at the beginning. What's, What's the... your impression specifically on Malik Keys and Chance Lovertick so far and where do you think they need to improve on? Uh, I think Malik's inconsistent. Malik needs to focus. He needs to use two hands when he catches the ball. Uh, when he plays well, he's a very dynamic player. Um, and the biggest thing he needs to do is uh, is play up to his potential because uh, you know good things could happen for him if he does. Uh, uh, you know he, he's uh, uh, he's uh, occasionally great rather than consistently good. Um, uh, Lubbertech, uh, he, he's steadily improved. Uh, had a uh, I thought he had a really good day today, um, and then. Uh, you know he's he's a, he's he's triggering quicker than uh, he did in the spring, and so he just needs to keep improving. How would you compare the buy-in level of the guys with this year's group compared to one year ago? How much more would you say this year's group has bought in? I know it's a lot of similar faces, but still. Well, they know each other a lot better. You know they know each other better, and they've worked together through the off season. So I think that helps a lot. Uh, you know you kind of know the, the guy next to you and his uh, tendencies and uh, and what he's able to do, and then of course. Uh, it's competitive, so they're pushing one another. Seems like some of the guys, whether it be on the field or on the sideline, were pretty engaged throughout practice day. Do you feel like the intensity is starting to pick up a little bit as camp rolls on? Yeah, we've we've had pretty good intensity. We have, we we've had pretty good intensity. We uh, come off the throttle when we're tired, but um, you know. But I do think the energy out here has been real good. Coach Arnett mentioned the ability of Buki Watson and Tyrus Wheat to play multiple positions. How important is that versatility at linebacker? Well, they're real talented guys. I mean, part of the uh, the versatility is good, but then the other thing is you can create mismatches with those guys uh, by uh, you know moving them around because you know that's uh, you know they're both guys that you don't want to see across from you, and so we try you know they're going to try to share the wealth with uh, the opponent's offense with those two guys. Coach, you brought in a lot of competition in the quarterback room bring an incumbent starter back. How do you kind of characterize the quarterback competition? Is everybody chasing Will or is it an open deal? I think it's an open deal. I mean, uh, I, I, I think it's an open deal. I think Will and uh, Chance are at the top, but uh, it's an open deal. When do you kind of like expect to see one of those guys start to separate themselves or is it a circumstantial type of deal? With they... It's circumstantial, but we need to push it. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, we've got uh, uh, quite a few more practices to do it, but uh, the, you know there will come a time where um, you know we have to make a decision and uh, uh, split the reps different. The uh, SEC uh, preseason media poll came out a couple weeks ago and it predicted you guys to finish last in the SEC West. Do you kind of use that as bulletin board material or with with your guys? Uh, I pretty well ignore it. I mean, I, uh, I I don't ask those guys' opinion on anything else, so I'm probably not going to start with that. You guys go into full pads on Wednesday. How much easier is it to evaluate guys once you get to that step? Well, it's, a, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. You know, it's difficult to, uh, you know, it's difficult, especially with the lines. It's difficult to gauge uh, uh, run game and, uh, and pass protection. 
uh, without pads. You know, it's it's difficult to say whether a guy got a sack or whether a guy got a good run in, in, unless you got the pads on. And then it also just blocking and uh, shedding blocks. Uh, you know, it helps that too. What have you seen from Randy uh, throughout? You know, camp so far, and how big of a role do you kind of expect for him to play for you guys this year? Randy. Randy Charlton. Oh, uh, yeah, j just, uh, you know, he's pretty dynamic too. I mean, he's a load in there, and he's uh, he's faster than you'd think he is, so he's been playing well. Uh, a lot of guys on that front, uh, the, that front are, especially, you know, when they're fresh and they push through. You think he's going to play a big role and kind of fill in the void of some of the guys that you lost from last year? Oh, I think so. With the offensive line, do you feel like they're pretty established so far with the 5v1 up there, or is that still kind of open to, to moving around as the as Paul Camp rolls on? I, I think most of it's open. You know, most of it's open, and, you know, we're slowly becoming a tougher, grittier group, and that needs to happen. What kind of makes the ideal inside receiver for your scheme, for the, for the area scheme? Uh, the best available receiver would be the top one, you know. Uh, whoever's the best available receiver. Um, but then after that, uh, you need a guy that understands space. It's a it's a, a more complicated position than some. And then uh, the other thing is you want uh, guys that have good change of direction. Sometimes low center of gravity guys have that, but they don't have to be, you know, they as long as they can get out of their cuts and change direction. Some of the receivers, do you feel like after a year of having that experience, they're more instinctual, I guess, on the line as opposed to maybe thinking about it too much last year? Uh, better, better than we were. Still got a long ways to go. I think that group's got to get a lot tougher. I think that the whole fleet of those guys have to get a lot tougher. It seems like Quavis Marks has built his body up a little bit for the offseason and all that. What did the offseason do you think do for him, uh, and especially playing last year as a true freshman? Well, he, he, I think the, the experience helped him a lot. I think he's having a good camp. I think that, uh, uh, you know, he put on good weight, so he's a bigger, more solid guy uh, and probably even faster. So, no, I think he had a very productive offseason. So, then as it gets closer to game week, you'll start pairing things down uh, rep-wise. How do you kind of manage reps for the newcomers right now in, in camp before you get to uh, game plan week? Well, we uh, we have two pass skills going on, um, and then we usually uh, have post practice uh, to the extent that we can. You know, you have to uh, kind of make judgments on, you know, when you're going to get the best work. Um, so, and then also we're rolling them in a little bit uh, in the course of our uh, the other periods too. So, uh, you just try to look at them uh, the best you can, but also uh, generate additional film so that. Uh, uh, you can look at him even more, as many reps as you can. How much uh, more vocal has Will been this year compared to the last year around? You know, he was pretty vocal last year. Uh, I, I think, because uh, he's got good leadership qualities, I think it was honestly quite similar, uh, you know, once he got uh, began to get established. 